Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is, is an atom abiotic? All right, so let's go over what abiotic means. Well, biotic, uh, which should remind you of the word biology, means of life, just like how biology is the study of life. So, biotic has life in it. And we'll use pink for our abiotic. which equals without life. So just to kind of go over a few of these examples, let's look at this list here. So a human, humans definitely have life in them. Yes. Uh, air, air is definitely not of life, right? There was never any air that was alive. A plant, yes, soil, to think about it, well, soil can help things grow and sometimes it can have bacteria in it, but soil by itself, no. So abiotic. Water, again, could have bacteria with life in it or even fish, but by itself, water, no. You're not murdering anything when you drink a glass of water. A monkey, it's very cute, and yes, it has life in it. Light, nope, no life. And so now we're down to our question in Adam. And so it's a kind of confusing concept, right? Because all of these things, really with the exception of light, are made completely of atoms. So even though water and a monkey uh, have different statuses in terms of alive or not alive, uh, they're both made of atoms. And so the answer is, overall, if you're looking at one atom, no, it's not biotic, it's abiotic, because one atom by itself can't be alive in any way. Um, however, you know, when they're grouped together, they do form life. So that's the answer. By itself, nope. In some specific groupings, yes, it is of life. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is, is an atom abiotic?